doing it all yourself versus outsourcing, finding the perfect balance. What makes you a solopreneur rather than an entrepreneur? Well, while the term is fairly subjective, a generally accepted answer is that the solopreneur is someone who runs the kind of operation that would normally require a much larger team. A solopreneur may therefore be responsible for providing a service, producing a product, or otherwise creating value, but at the same time also promoting their business, dealing with customers and clients, and managing the balance sheet. This is a lot of hard work, and it's something that can lead to burnout for a great many people. But here's the thing. Being a control freak who does everything themselves is actually one of the best business decisions you can make. Didn't expect to hear that? It's not a popular view, but it's one that's extremely true. And it's the secret that sets apart many of the most successful creators. In this presentation, we'll learn why that is and how to be a solopreneur without going mad. Why the solopreneur comes out on top. Have you ever thought of hiring a writer to provide content for your website? It sounds like a good idea on the face of it. If the articles earn more money than they cost, from adverts, sales, or anything else, then adding more posts should be a great way to scale your business and earn more money. Pay someone to make lots of articles, then wait for the sweet Google hits. It sounds good on paper, but here's the thing. Getting lots of hits on Google is not how you make the big money online. How do you make the big money online? You create a following. You build a loyal fan base. You build something that is unique and exciting. Something that provides real value and something that no one else can offer. There are thousands of fitness websites out there, but there are only a few that are able to sell courses for hundreds of dollars and have people queuing up to get them. Guess what? Those successful sites aren't the ones that post generic content about getting abs by cutting calories. They're the ones exposing new and unique ways to train, to push human performance, or to express the human body. If you hire a writer, you won't get that. Why? Because unless the writer is an expert in health and fitness, they will have no option but to rehash content they find elsewhere online. That means the content will be generic and derivative by definition. Even if they do know about fitness, they're unlikely to share their groundbreaking theories or revelations with you for a small fee. They'll save that for their own website. The same goes for designing a website, for creating merchandise, or for making graphics. You need to have a distinct visual style that will set your content apart and make you instantly recognizable. This should sell the emotions that you want people to feel when they interact with your brand. The only way to accomplish this is to create things yourself. That way, you are bringing to life the vision of one person. This also works for a small team, and that passion will come across to the users. The fine line. So, does that mean you can never outsource? Of course not. It means that you never outsource things that A, you can do yourself, and B, that provide the core value of what you're offering. Outsourcing menial tasks like outreach, link building, etc. is acceptable. Likewise, you can even outsource aspects of your life outside of your business. How about using a VAS to book your next holiday? But if it is integral to the style, message, and value of your brand, do it yourself. That is your advantage as a solopreneur. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.